Uh, he needs to design and he designed. All right, and that's it. Magnus wins the first attack on the king and Adivan knows it's all over. He resigns. Magnus Carlsen wins the rook into b2 and there is a nice discovered check. So probably for king g2, he might have gone for this plan, but king g4 takes advantage of this. And Liam down to two minutes. This... Uh, this is just game over. This is the this is the classical moment when one can say that uh, that the that the game spoke for itself, yeah, because uh, really it, it was wonderful. Levon still, but okay, no, I mean the e pawn is the going, yeah, Levon designs. Lo lot to think there for Ivan, and he's done to two minutes, two and a half minutes. I'm expecting uh, Magnus to 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 win this quite comfortably. All right, let's call this as some as a position that's going to be a Magnus rookie for, and that is it. Jan Shostov Duda resigns Magnus Carlsen in the five. There was rook takes d2, and the queen is coming back after queen b8. It's not a checkmate because of queen d8. So that was the precise calculation, which resulted in a win for Magnus. Wow, Christopher played with no time on the clock. Look at this. He jumped back <laughs> to ten seconds, but it doesn't make any difference. He designs now because yeah. that's it. Finish. F4, F5, very clean idea. You take away the G6 square and Magnus's rampage continues. Knight D4, King A2. He goes Knight B5 and stops it this way. Controls A3 and this will be resignations now. Nothing to stop the B pawn from queening. Peter, just a phenomenal run by Magnus. Because already you think like anyway your opponent has to sacrifice on G7 and will be stalemate. I mean, uh, perpetual checkpoint on me. Mm, but that's it now. King E7 wins the game for Magnus.